Hi, I'm Jerry Arthur with Bushwhackers Land Clearing. And uh, we want to sh give you an opportunity to learn a little bit about uh, what our business offers. And we're going to start by showing you our one minute commercial. Bushwhackers Land Clearing provides cost effective land clearing and brush grinding services in Oklahoma, Texas, Arkansas, and surrounding areas. Our environmentally conscious approach keeps soil disturbance to a minimum and we can use selective land clearing to clear only the trees you want removed, leaving the ones you want to keep, specializing in forestry mulchers that mulch brush and trees of any diameter. Our machines never leave a dozer pile like other methods. Bushwhackers leaves only beautiful trees and mulch, so you can enjoy your land immediately. No job is too big or small. We can tackle commercial, farm and ranch, and all right-of-way land clearing projects. At the end of the day, our goal is for our customers to be thinking, wow, I got more than I paid for. Bushwhackerslandclearing.com. Commercial, farm and ranch, and right-of-way clearing. 580-920-5039. So I hope you enjoyed that video clip. You got to see all different types of machines and uh, a little bit about what we do. So our task, our, our job description is mainly forestry mulching, but in general we do land clearing. We have occupations like machine operators, but also management and supervisory positions, as well as someone has to go out and bid that work and do the math and the measuring to, to know what that job should cost and what the customer pays. So our job descriptions here range from mechanics, machine operators, uh, job evaluators, supervisors, and somebody has to fly the airplane too, so that gets to be me. We've got all sorts of equipment. We have dozers and excavators. As you can see, we have over-the-road trucks that require CDL to drive. And to do that, you've got to have not only a good driving record, but you've got to pee in a cup and pass a drug test. Let's talk about education requirements. A college degree is not required for what we do, but it certainly looks great on a resume. Uh, going to a trade school, learning some welding skills, some mechanic skills, but most importantly, some people skills, would prepare you for a job here at Bushwhackers Land Clearing. For an operator here at Bushwhackers Land Clearing, you could expect to make a gross salary of somewhere between sixty to eighty thousand dollars a year. But please know that there's lots of hours involved and only a select few would be chosen to work here. We're pretty picky about who we want to spend the day with. Think about it, you spend more time with people at your workplace than you do your own family. Let's talk a little bit more about education. Even though you're in the 8th grade right now, you don't realize that the classes you go to are preparing you for your adulthood. Every day, every activity, every class, every encounter with a friend is preparing you for your future. Those are just stepping stones that will build your character and your personality and certainly your uh, uh, education. Every class you attend today is going to prepare you, even for an outside job like this. You know, when we go to a job, we have to prepare ourselves and the customer for what their expenditures are going to be. We have to measure out a clearing job. We have to decide how long that's going to take and how that equates to dollars. We want to be real fair with the customer, but certainly the company has to make money too. There's lots of skills in your math class, specifically geometry and possibly even trig, to prepare you, again, even for an outside job like this. I can't stress how much science class would mean to you. My technicians here who work on and prepare our equipment, they've got to understand leverage, they've got to understand chemical combustion, they need to know what occurs in a battery, they've got to understand how electricity works and how to diagnose that. Guys, you're going to learn these things in your science class. Many of your electives could be just as, as important as your math and science class if you take them serious. I can always tell if one of my new employees have had an ag class. I can tell if they have been taught how to weld, how to use a cutting torch, some basic mechanic and skills, but maybe more importantly those public speaking skills we spoke of. It's really important that you're accustomed to looking at a superior in the eye when you're talking to them and do so with confidence. I never played sports but I can certainly see how important they are in preparing you for the workplace. Being involved with a team, having to cooperate with others, conducting yourself well, impressing the coach. These are all skills that will take you a long ways in a job as well. Work conditions here I like to think are fairly desirable. However, we work long hard hours. Very often employees will show up before dark 
and possibly not get back home until after dinner time. On jobs that require an overnight stay, most companies like mine pay a per diem. A per diem is simply a reimbursement that you would incur for your meals or possibly housing. A CDL licensed truck driver is probably one of the most difficult positions to fill these days. It requires a clean driving record, a clean ongoing random drug test, as well as the skills required to take a truck down the road safely. You've got a lot of equipment, a lot of dollars following you here. Possibly this truck could be worth a million dollars with the equipment that's on it, and it's all in your control. We need people we can trust. One important aspect about a job you would seek out is having fun. Here at Bushwhackers, we operate equipment like this on a daily basis. There's a wide variety of things that you could spend your day sitting in. This all-wheel drive military truck we use for setting timber mats out on the right-of-way. A forestry mulcher is really interesting. This machine right here can mulch any size of tree. It doesn't matter if it's brush that you can't walk through or if it's a 36 inch pecan tree, this will turn it into mulch. Much like the bag of mulch you would buy at Home Depot or Lowe's. Forestry mulchers come in a lot of different configurations. This one is based on a wheel loader from Caterpillar. We also have them mounted on skid steers, dozer-like equipment, as well as excavators. If you've got some really good hand-eye coordination, the excavator's where it's at. It's a good time to run. The success of a business is dependent on good advertising. You know, advertising could mean something like this, or it could mean you as the operator of a piece of machinery really impressing the customers. We get a lot of good reviews online that don't always reflect me or the business as a whole. Very often, it reflects the quality of that operator of that piece of equipment. The customer was most impressed with the individual there on their property that day. Those are the employees that I'm looking for. This used to be my desk. I was just a one-man show. I was the only employee and only owned one machine and that's how I started this business. Now my desk is in an office pushing a pencil or maybe in the cockpit of the airplane. I still go out on the job site and bid jobs and talk to customers on a regular basis. Our business has grown in a way that not always do we have time to drive there. We're very fortunate that we now have an airplane and very often I'm paying an employee to sit beside me to go to a job. Yes, he's getting paid to ride in a small aircraft. So guys, there's a whole lot more to preparing yourselves for a job than just going to school. You, you've got to live a good life and uh, live for God. Treat your, your friends, neighbors, and more importantly, your teachers with respect. And uh, as you go, so will you grow. Form good habits to make yourself employable. Form good habits to keep yourself out of trouble and surround yourself with good friends who are good influences on you. I learned a long time ago that you'll become the average of the five people that you spend the most time with. Choose those five people wisely. You know, Jesus hung out with people who were less than righteous, but he did so to influence them and not become influenced himself. So, choose your friends wisely.